So how do you bond atoms together to make bio biological molecules or compounds? Now remember that we are working with hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, or carbon. So there's something called hunk who. Uh, the reason I say hunk is that means hydrogen can have one bond, oxygen can have two bonds, nitrogen can have three bonds, and carbon can have four bonds. Well, what does that mean? Example, we know that um, water is H2O. This two means that there's two hydrogen, and just one O means there's one oxygen. So I'm going to say one oxygen in the middle, whichever can bond more bond, whichever atom can make more bond in the middle to hydrogen, right? Oxygen can have two bonds, that means one, two. Hydrogen can have one bond, that's good. Right, this hydrogen have one bond, this hydrogen have one bond, that's all set. Uh, if you want to be precise about it, obviously you would say there's two lone pair electron on the oxygen because if you look on the periodic table, oxygen actually has six valence electron. It's the same group six. Um, sometimes people would write it like this. Oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen, and then two dash. This dash replaces these two long, lone pair electron. How about a fatty acid? We have we can have a fatty acid with um, how about uh, four carbon? Carbon, carbon, carbon. Okay. Now let's say we're saying this fatty acid is four carbon. One end of the fatty acid is a carbon attaching to an O, and then O, and then H. Okay, the double bond O. So this oxygen having two, two bond is happy, right? Check. The C bonding with this O. Now this O is in the middle of an H and a C. So I'm going to say oxygen bonding with H. Now H is happy. It's usually in the end because it can only have one bond. Now let's look at the C. It have one bond. Two bond, three bond, but it needs four. So maybe you have one more bond this way. This carbon have one bond, two bond. Oh, so it need two more to make four, right? So it's gonna have it's gonna bond with two hydrogen. Two hydrogen. Same thing. The C can do two more bond with hydrogen. This last C have one bond, that means it can have it needs three more. One plus three is four. So we say one hydrogen, two hydrogen, three hydrogen. Now sometimes people don't want to write it so long like this. They can write it like this. So this means that at this end there's this this carbon. So this carbon, let's say this is carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number four. So this jacket line means that here's carbon number one right here, carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number four. So even though they didn't draw out the carbon, it is there. Well, if you didn't draw out the carbon, you don't have to draw out the hydrogen either. So it's implied that at this point, there is a carbon number four that is connected to three hydrogen, so that is satisfy the rules of carbon having to have four bond. Now, this carbon number one here, it meant to be bound to two oxygen. One of them is double bond, right? So we say double bond O, and this one carbon is binding to one oxygen and an H. We say like that. Um, so you can probably put the dot dots, dot dots, or you cannot put the dot and it'd be fine. 
So this is like a shortcut. This is a shortcut to drawing.